post-workout habits. Not stretching or cooling down. This one tops the list because the majority of us simply never do it. Essential for recovery, increased flexibility, range of motion, and reduced muscle soreness and fatigue, a proper cool-off period of at least 5 minutes of stretching is arguably just as important as the actual workout. You add peanut butter in your post-workout shake. I notice this often, and it makes me want to slap the shakes right out of the hands of the people in question. I understand the added peanut butter takes the flavor profile of the shake from a 6 to a 10, but it also takes your body out of the fat burning mode it's in after training, and interferes with absorption and digestion of proteins, carbohydrates, and all other nutrients, which is the polar opposite of what you want after a workout. You don't eat carbs post-workout. If you're one of those, I don't eat carbs people, let me lay it out for you as elementary as possible. A rose seed will require fertile soil and water in order to blossom into a beautiful flower. Your body's muscles require the same level of care. If not provided the proper amount of carbohydrates at the most important times, pre and post workout, your muscles will not be able to recover, repair, strengthen, and grow in an efficient manner, or at all for that matter. You eat like a stray dog after training. While the occasional cheat meal is acceptable from time to time, here are a few to try. By no means is your post workout window to be treated as an eat like sh asterisk t and get out of jail free card. The quality of, portion sizes, and consistency of your meals are imperative to achieving a successful outcome and seeing your goals through. Operating under the assumption that you can eat anything after a workout and, it won't hurt you, is comparable to slashing all four of your tires and remaining confident you'll still be able to reach your final destination. It's just not happening. Thanks for watching.